BJ, you here? Hey, BJ hi. Walker? Hi, I'm looking for my sister. <laughs> You've been crying. Oh, it's not that something flew in my eye. Hey, come on, don't do that with me. BJ, I know when something's wrong. It's silly. BJ, silly counts if it's making you sad. What's up? I guess, um, I'm just melancholy about what's going on with Mom and Dad. I think it's more than that. Like, I know you're upset about Mom leaving, but uh, this isn't new. This has been going on for a long time. It started way before Mom and Dad split up. If I had my guess, I think it has something to do with Professor Lockridge. Why would you say that? Because I know you better than anyone else in the whole world. From everything I've seen, I think you've fallen in love, sis. Ah, oh. you're late. Barely? I know it's barely, but I just felt like I wanted to take a chance to say it. I never get to. How was your meeting? You don't have to pretend you care. Nice attitude. Mm, let me think. What did I do to deserve this? Oh, the editorial in my paper this morning. The one about the slaughterhouse demolition. Exactly. It's a slaughterhouse, Warren. They used to kill animals there. It's hardly a national shrine. I don't understand what you're on your soapbox about. It's a landmark. You know, you're so American sometimes. You know, you don't see Europeans destroying historical monuments or something like that and calling it progress. Warren, please. Look, the last thing I want to do is have an argument with you about that building. Sounds like you want to argue about something. Let me guess. BJ, right? It always seems to come around to that. Well, if it does, it's because you leave me no choice. Okay. What does she do now? You mean besides putting you up to running that ridiculous editorial? I resent that. I make the editorial decisions at that paper. Not that I have to defend myself, but I wrote that piece as a matter of principle. Oh, don't get on your journalistic high horse with me, Warren. Especially not since you're willing to splash Beach's outlandish fantasies all over your paper. I assume you're referring to the Rachel Ann series? There is no Rachel Ann, Warren. You know that as well as I do. Are you so enamored of this girl that you're willing to be a vehicle for her outrageous fraud? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> you got this all wrong, man. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you explain it to me then? Hey, Why don't you explain to me how come you got a, a little girl's doll tattooed on your back, Frank? Hey, Cruz, what's the big deal? Come on, lighten up, will ya? It's one of these things I did one night. You know how it is. Go yeah. with the boys, get yeah. drunk. I Somebody know how it is, because BJ just told me about it, Frank. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. It's simple. I just found out why she knows so much about child abuse and who so thoroughly educated her. Hey, I don't know what you think you heard. BJ. Okay, BJ. BJ is Rachel Ann, okay? And you have her name on your back because you have been molesting her sexually since she was a little girl. Please don't call it that. That's not how it was. BJ and I had a very special relationship. Oh, for the love of God. No matter what you say, I loved her. She was 10 years old, man. Don't. She was 10 years old. She trusted you because her parents did. And you hurt her in the most reprehensible way possible. You're gonna face it now. Okay. What do you want from me? I want you to sit down! I want you to get on your knees, man! You're going to admit to me that you did it. Tell me, Frank. Say it.
ask you for a file earlier? I went out to your house an hour ago. I haven't filled out a memo yet. I'm, I'm not at the cabin anymore. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Um, I'll make you another copy right away. Thanks. for you to be here, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I guess I didn't give a copy of my schedule to you or your boyfriend, Cruz. So that's gonna be how it's ending, Reese? A pathetic little whimper, and then you not even making an effort to save it? Well, I'm kind of stuck, Joe. I'm like a scratch on an old record. I mean, I can't deny that part of me wants to reach out to my wife and reconnect, but I keep hearing the same old groove over and over. You lied to me about you and Cruz. Do I have the most beautiful mother in town or what? Hi. Hi. Well, if I am, it's because I take after you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. So, is Ken nearby? Are you psychic? Yeah, do you want to join us for dinner? Are you kidding me? I know a romantic setup when I see one. Besides, I'm meeting Cruz. How is he? Qualified fine. What does that mean? Are you two having problems? No, Mother. No, I told you so is necessary yet. Thank you. Uh, I didn't mean it that way, Kelly. I'm sorry. I'm a little sensitive. Uh, Cruz and I are doing great, but he's got a lot on his mind lately, and I guess it's kind of uh, wearing on me more than I thought. It's not the children, is it? No, it's um, some cop stuff. You have to get used to that. While you're here, I want to invite you to something. We're going to have Ted and Katrina and Julian Mason and the two of you for dinner next week, yes? Mm, it sounds great. We are going to have... <laughs> oh, sounds like Ken and you are getting a little serious. I think we are. Well, that would explain Dad's mood lately. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi Killing. Nice to see you. Thanks. Looking beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. Taking good care of my mother? Well, I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, well, you just keep it up. <laughs> okay? Okay. I'll talk to you about dinner later, okay? Okay. Bye. Night. Bye. Oh, no. What? Here comes trouble. Oh, Ken. Hi, Sophia. What a lovely dress. Well, Gina, thank you very much. She wants something. That's not true. You're wrong, as usual. Actually, I came with something to offer. To Ken. Come on, Warren. Why don't you stop defending her and admit I'm right? Have you found even the tiniest trace of, of evidence of a molestation case involving a Rachel Ann? No. And that's fine with you? As a matter of fact, it bothers me a bit. It bothers you a bit? Well, how gentlemanly. If it were anyone else on your staff, you'd have them crucified or thrown out on their butts. But BJ, BJ you protect. She's a kid, Angela. She's very bright and she has a brilliant career ahead of her. You know it. You're talking talent. I'm talking ethics. I can't really accuse the girl when I don't have any facts. Well, I've checked it out. Thoroughly. Aren't the resources of my paper good enough for you? I seem to remember they suited you just fine when you were the editor. But now you're the editor, and you're hardly impartial. Well, neither are you. Look, I, I don't want to beat this to death. But the fact is, BJ is perpetrating a fraud upon the readership of this town. And unlike you, I am not going to sit by and let her get away with it. It's that easy for you, isn't it? You bet. You try to destroy her in my eyes, and you can't do it. So you're going to put it in your paper, ruin her reputation while people read about it while they're drinking their coffee, is that it? B.J. Walker chose to play in the big leagues. Well, I'm going to show her just how high the stakes can be. Why don't you say what you really mean, Angela? This has nothing to do with your readers. It has nothing to do with journalistic integrity. It has to do with B.J. 
and how she gets under your skin because I think that she's bright. Angela, I know the girl. She may be an idealist. She's not stupid. She's not gonna whip up some phony story without supporting it with truth. She knows she has a career. She knows she works for a respectable paper. She's too smart to throw that away and jeopardize it. Is that why you're going easy on her, Warren? Because of her unlimited potential? Or is there some other reason? Why don't you say what you mean? I already admitted that it was a mistake not telling you about the talk Cruz and I had on the beach the other night. Oh, excuse me. I guess I wasn't clear about which lie I was referring to. There have been so many. Maybe I should just start to catalog them like we do our old records. It was a talk on the beach. That's all. We've done it a million times before. Oh, no, no, no. The beach lie is clear, okay? It's the other one. It's the big one I can't seem to get past. You know, this may be a minor little detail in this scenario you're inventing for yourself, but I haven't been married to Cruz for 20 years. I've been married to you. Maybe that was a mistake, too. Is that what you really believe? Yeah. Days like today, yeah, that's what I really believe. I married you because I loved you. I still do. My heart skips a beat every time you walk in a room the same way it has for the past 20 years. I thought that's why you married me, too. My love for you is not in question. Oh, God, I forgot. Of course. It's my love that's constantly in doubt. You know, I'm starting to believe that the only reason you married me was because of some sick macho competition thing you have with Cruz. Well, get over it, Reese. You won. Why can't you see that? Is living in the past really, does that give you that much satisfaction? Doesn't anything that we made together count for anything? You know, this, these are just words, more words, Joe. I don't want to hear it. Well, then tell me what you want, Reese. I'll try to give it to you. I want the truth. I want the truth about BJ. I would not for a second love that little girl any less if you told me Cruz was her real father, but I have to know. Cruz is not BJ's father. You are. And I hope I never, ever have to answer that question again. this too long. Terrified that somebody will find out and misinterpret just the way you have. But let me tell you, Cruz, I love that girl. Yeah. I still do. I really I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. If you were afraid that somebody was going to find out, then you knew that what you were doing was wrong. No. No, I'm sorry. I knew how it would be perceived. <laughs> I'm not immune to society's censure, Cruz. Let me tell you something. I tried to stop once, okay? I even got a name of doctor. I called and made an appointment. Drove down there. Saw the door in his office. But you know what? I couldn't get out of my car. And you want to know why? Because I couldn't figure out how to tell him how it was between BJ and I, okay? Have you told Jody and Reese? Not yet. And I wouldn't want to be you when I do. Okay, uh, I'll do anything you say. I'll get help. I, I'll never even speak to BJ again. Uh-huh. So you're gonna bargain your way out of this, Frank? What choice are you giving me? I mean, we both know that if you tell Reese, he's gonna kill me. Now, do, do, do you want to put that on that family? Reese 
on trial for murder? I mean, think what that's going to do to the family. Hey, let me explain this to you, okay? I have a little girl. If a man like you put his hands on her, I would kill him. So if Reese wants to kill you, I'm going to let him. I'm going to help him. I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure he gets away with it. Okay? Does that begin to make my feelings on the subject clear? You understand that? You got that, Frank? You got that? You got that, Frank? Yes. Yes. Good. That's good. Now, let me understand just how much love you have in you, man. Man, you, you, you have a lot of other uh, little girlfriends in Florida. Are there a bunch of other little girls in Florida wandering around with a, with a permanently busted heart because of the way you love them, Frank? Hey, 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 how, how can you say that? I, I'm no monster, Cruz, okay? I had a very special relationship. Don't we call it a relationship. You seduced, you seduced a 10-year-old girl, man. She would, look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, man! Look at me. You call it a relationship again? You're gonna die where you sit. We clear on that? Okay, good. So what are you gonna do? God, give me strength. I'm gonna drag your puke face down to the psychiatrist. What happens after that is up to Reese and Jody. So you gotta tell him, huh? No, I'm not. You are. I'd have to be crazy to fall in love with Warren Lockridge. Why? Oh, because he's already in a relationship. No. I, mean, I don't think that <clears throat> Warren and Angela are permanent. They're totally mismatched. Angela's a conservative. Warren's a liberal. Angela's a social butterfly. Warren could care less. Well, sounds to me like you're the one who's got a lot in common with the professor. I respect Warren. He's one of the brightest and most intelligent men that I've ever known. That's as far as it goes. Whatever you say. Besides, I... I don't think I'll ever get into a love relationship. I'm already married to my work. Married to your work. Famous last words. <laughs> BJ, look, you can't control or predict love, all right? Sometimes it... Well, it sneaks up on you and... Oh, it takes you by surprise. I'm glad to see things are still on track with Aurora. I never thought I could feel this way about anybody, PJ. At least one person in our family is getting some joy out of life. Yeah. I wish I knew what was going on with Mom and Dad. You have any clues? No. Maybe it's better that we don't know. Maybe some secrets should stay buried. Santa Barbara Conscience. Oh, I'm glad you're still there. What's up? We have to talk. Oh, I'm listening. I'm not on the phone. I'll be right over. BJ's at the newspaper. I'm gonna go over there now. You'd better handle this, Warren. If you don't, I will. I heard what you said. You know, one ultimatum a night is about all I can stomach. You're the person I was supposed to see about a job? That's right. I'm launching my own company, as you know, and I'm staffing it as we speak. Oh, Lord. Anyway, it's called Gina Jeans, and I'm gonna be marketing these jeans internationally, so I need someone with foreign contacts. And from what I hear, you're my guy. Well, I do have a few contacts. I used to run an international chain of fitness clubs. That's what I was told. I'd like to offer you the position of vice president of international sales. Well, I'm flattered. Does that mean you'll say yes? I'd like to think about it. Okay, but don't take too long. 
This is really going to be big, Ken, and I am letting you in on the ground floor. Well, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Would you, would you excuse me? I need to make a phone call. Sure. See you in a minute. Yeah. Now that he's gone, on the level, what is this all about? <laughs> Let's go. Where? The police station. Hey, man, uh, you're right, okay? Deep down inside, I know you're right. <sighs> Committed a crime, and Jody and Reese ought to know about it. Just think about it for a minute. I mean, think about how it's going to devastate them. That's all I've been thinking about. Maybe you should have thought about that before you did what you did. OK. I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm not going to justify myself, OK? And what I did was wrong. All I'm trying to say is that maybe, coming from me, it will be easier for Jody and Reese to hear it. Just give me five minutes with them alone. But how can I trust you to do that, Frank? You can't. No, I can't. You don't know me, and all I can tell you is that Jody and Reese know me. They're my best friends. But this is not easy for any of us, okay? <laughs> yeah. All I'm trying to say to you is that no matter where the information comes from, Maybe I can make it go down easier. Easier for yourself, you mean? And that's really all that counts with you, isn't it? Look. You don't know how I got here, OK? But let me tell you something. I didn't pretend to have feelings for Jody and Reese to get to their daughter. They're my friends. They're my best friends. My friends I ever have, wherever will. Now, for me to be able to do what I did with BJ, what do you want me to say, okay? I realize I need help. And the first step towards healing is facing the people you victimized. All I'm asking you, begging you, is for you to give me a chance for that, that's all. I told BJ that I would come back and see her when I talked to you. You got an hour. Then I'm bringing her to the police station. If you haven't told her parents what you did, I will. I know this is probably very hard for you to believe, Sophia, but I am serious about this business, and I think hiring Ken is a smart move. Gina, I don't think you've said four words to Ken before tonight. Why him? Do you have a problem with Ken working for me? Yes, I have a lot of problems with Ken working for you. The first one that comes to mind is that working for you is tantamount to working for Cece, which is not healthy for any of us. All right. I'll be honest with you, because I don't want you to influence Ken away from taking this job. Oh, good. Do, do be honest with me, please. Cece does come into the mix. Surprise, surprise. I don't jump to conclusions. I still think Ken is the best man for the job. It's just that, well, Cece is so disturbed by this relationship that you and Ken have. <laughs> to see him blow a gasket every day when he trips over Ken all over the office, well, it's just too delicious to pass up. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I don't think it's very nice of you to want to push Cece's buttons with Ken's accepting the job because it is his life we're dealing with. Well, you do have a point, huh? I guess we'll just leave it up to Ken, then. Angela, remember that scathing editorial you wrote about me when I assumed my place on the Capwell board? Yes, Gina. 
What about it? Well, I can't help but remember thinking, at that time, I felt that you single-handedly put the women's movement back a couple hundred years. And so I was just wondering how you felt this morning when you got the same treatment from the conscience. And on an article written by your own lover to boot. Well, I guess it couldn't happen to a nicer bimbo. No, it just happened. Yeah, right before I called you. Sounds like a great opportunity. In fact, it might be just what we need. Hey, Jody, hi. Hi, yourself? Uh, I, I saw Reese downstairs. He's had better days. <sighs> yeah. Uh, listen, you think the three of us, you know, can go out to dinner tonight? You're sweet, Frank. <laughs> Why? What would I do? <laughs> You're trying to fix things. I think it's going to take more than dinner to patch this one up. Yeah, uh, Reese is real, real stubborn sometimes. Don't I know it? <laughs> you know, I've tried to talk to him, and I just... He won't hear a word I have to say. I mean, he shut me out, Frank, and I, I can't seem to get that door back open again. Hey, uh, maybe, maybe I could try, you know? Thanks, but if Reese and I are going to get it back together again, we're going to have to do it ourselves. I hear you. Um, how about BJ? I mean, I don't know, maybe the three of us could grab a bite. You know, I haven't seen BJ all day, and I really feel like I want to be alone. <laughs> Rain check? Sure, anytime. Some kid left this downstairs for you. Oh. He didn't leave his name. Thanks. Something wrong? Oh, I hope not. It's Jody Walker. Um, I need to speak to Cruz Castillo. Well, then page him. And when you reach him, tell him to call me immediately. It's urgent. Tough one? One of the all-time worst. You saw BJ? Yeah. What happened? Well, I'd rather not get into it right now. I'm on my way to see her again, actually. I just wanted to stop by and say I'm not going to be able to make dinner. I'll come by the house later, maybe, and I'll fill you in then, okay? Okay, sure. Listen, I got to go. Okay. Talk to you. Bye. Yeah, it's, it's Cruz. Can you punch me through? Thanks. Jody Walker. It's me. Thank God. Are you okay? I was afraid I wouldn't be able to track you down, Cruz. So, uh, what, what can I do? It's Connie. She's in some kind of trouble and she needs us to meet her right away. Where are you? I'm at the Oasis. I'll pick you up in five minutes. Joe, did, uh, did Frank, has he talked to you about anything? Frank, is he there? Frank? Yeah. Well, he was here. Did he talk to you about anything? He mentioned dinner. Why, what's going on? I'll tell you when I see you. I'll be in the parking lot. Bye. I know that look. Something's come up? Yeah, listen, I'm prob my even evening is getting backed up further, so maybe I'll just hook up with you in the morning. No, that's okay. Come over tonight. I don't care how late. You sure? Yes, positive. Okay, well, I'll call you if I run into any more trouble. Cruz, are you sure you can't tell me what's going on? You look like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, and I'd like to help you. Know, you know, Kelly, if I could tell you, I would. I okay. can't. Okay? Yep. All right. I'm just here for you if you need me. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be short with you. I'm... You don't have to apologize, okay? Go do what you gotta do. Yeah, okay. All right. Be careful. 
Yeah, yeah. What are you working on? The next installment of the Rachel Ann series. Good. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. You said you were going to see this girl, did you? Yes. I want to meet her. She'd never agree to that. Well, then set up a phone conversation. Get something in writing, anything. Look, Warren, I thought I'd explain to you about her. That's not good enough, kid. The reality is, is you've got to give me something. Something I can see to prove that this girl exists. I've got my word. Didn't you hear the man, BJ? It's not good enough. This was delicious. Yes, it was. Now, why don't you tell me what's eating you? I don't want you to misunderstand. What? Say it. It's wonderful that Gina has offered you a job. But, but I've known her for a long time, and I know that she doesn't do anything without an ulterior motive. Well, I know that you two have complicated histories, but don't you think it's possible that she might think that I might be an asset for her company? Ken, see, I knew you were going to do this. You'd be an asset for anyone's company. But I've learned the hard way about her. I do not trust her anything she does, and I don't want her to manipulate you. Hmm. I love it when you're protective like that. <laughs> You know, I have known a lot of Gina's in my life. And I think I can handle this one. Okay. And I promise that I will give this offer every thorough consideration before I commit myself one way or the other. Okay. How does it look right now? I'm leaning towards it. It might be just the thing I need to set myself back up on my feet. And a little perk would be a good way to prove myself to you. Oh, I don't like that at all. Don't ever say that. You don't have to Honey, prove yourself no, 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 to no. me. No, 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 no. Listen, call it the macho throwback or whatever, but it has been proven down through the ages that men want women that they care about to be proud of them. That's why empires are built. It's why wars are waged. And I care about you more than I can say. You always know the right thing to say then maybe we should head home because I can talk a lot better when we're not in the crowd. I've noticed that. <laughs> I'm go to the ladies' room and meet you after. Okay. Gina. I'd like to accept your offer. What are you doing here? It occurred to me your little talk with BJ might go on all night. I didn't particularly feel like being stood up again. This is a private conversation. You knew that. I'll wait in the next room. Sorry about that. I don't care about her. Basically, what you're saying is you think I'm a liar. Is that it? Well, put yourself in my place, kid. I'm the editor of this newspaper. I cannot print unsubstantiated material. Nothing I wrote is unsubstantiated. Every word was the truth. You said that you got this case from the police blotter, right? Well, I checked it. All of it. You know what I found? Nothing. Now, why is that? Why can't you just trust me, Warren? Believe me, I'd like to. Look, my back's against the wall, and you pushed me there. Now, if you can't prove that this girl exists, I'm gonna cancel the series, and I'm gonna have to let you go. You're firing me? Give me another choice. Hi. Hi. 
Uh, you looking for Cruz? No, nope. I'm looking for you. Oh, flatterer. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to you. Sorry about what's going on with Jody and you. You holding up okay? No. No. No, but you know, I'll get, I'll get there. You know, it's just time, you know. Heals all wounds, right? Yeah. It's got to be rough. You can't imagine, Kel. You know what? If you need anybody to talk to, my shoulders are still here for you. Really, they are. They're right here. Thanks. But I think I've used them maybe once too often. No. This one, I think I'm just going to have to get through on my own. It sounds kind of lonely, Reese. Maybe I should just get used to that. Come here. I'm really sorry about everything. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to be OK. I really do. It's all going to be OK. If you just keep saying that, maybe I'll believe it. Yeah. OK. Well, hold on to that. You do believe it. Thanks. Are you, um, can you do anything? You want to get a bite, maybe? Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to be hooking up the cruise a little later. I wouldn't count on that. Reese, what's that supposed to mean? Cruise isn't available. He's meeting up with my wife. Do you think that I want to do this? Please stop me. Stop me. You've got to give me something to prove the veracity of this story. I'll keep your confidence, but you've got to give me something, BJ. You seem to be forgetting something, Warren. I didn't want to do this story in the first place. You did. That is completely besides the point now. We are doing the story, and I need verification. How do you think I could make something like this up? Well, you happen to have a very fertile imagination. Your godfather, Frank, even told me so. Frank? It... Fine. I'll be out by the morning. BJ. Are you satisfied now? Well, why don't you come by my office tomorrow and we'll discuss the particulars. Fine, I'll be there. Good having you aboard. Thanks. I'm looking forward to this. Hello, Cece. It's Gina. Mission accomplished. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. Cruz didn't say anything about meeting Jody. I rest my case. <sighs> what makes you think they're together? Why am I even asking this question now? Why am I asking this? <sighs> Kelly, I heard her talking to him on the phone. They work together. For God, why do you have to see something behind every corner? Kelly, What's wrong with you? Just listen to me, OK? Here's a no-brainer for you. If Cruz has nothing to hide, then why did he neglect to tell you that he was going to go meet my wife? you want to meet in a place like this? Well, the note implied that some of Ramon's buddies might have been nursing a vendetta. Maybe she didn't want to take the chance of being seen with us. Connie! You know, Joe, maybe she changed her mind. No, I don't think so. The note made it sound pretty urgent. Unless this is some kind of a setup. For what reason? And who? 